I'm not in my favorite place today. Uh, it's real easy to make videos and be in front of people when everything is hunky-dory. It's a little bit different to be authentic, transparent, and to present with everything going on in life that doesn't feel that great. That's a different story. Um, and that's where I'm at today. I have a couple of situations. I've had life happening since I woke up today, which is always how it happens, but it's just how I respond to it. Um, I have a couple of situations today that are greatly affecting my finances. And um, to a degree, the outcome is out of my control. Um, so I am consciously choosing how I want to frame them, how I want to speak about them, and how I want to believe and behave about the outcome. Um, and this is the way I be now that works for me. Um, I'm going to have to become the bee so I can find the magic in all of this because I desire an amicable outcome. I desire a high vibe resolution um, that gets me what I need. And although I cannot predict the outcome and I cannot ensure or expect that the outcome will be exactly that I desire, I can decide that it's going to all just be fine and that everything is just in transition and that nothing is out of control. Everything is right on time and divine and God's got it. <clears throat> and that right there will make me a match to a good income, to a good outcome, <laughs> income too. Freudian slip, I love it. <laughs> you know, it's not that there is ever the absence of good things happening. There is the absence of the allowance that all good things can happen for most of us. We get in a bad habit of framing stressful, uncertain circumstances as bad and that they're going to turn out negatively. And that's simply not the case. Quite honestly, Nothing is bad, and really nothing ever has a negative outcome. I mean, I know that's a lot to say, and some of you are like, what about when this happens? Well, what about when that happens? Life, bitch. Like, it, if I decide that these things that are happening are bad, then it's probably not going to go too well for me, and I'm probably not going to be very happy with how it shakes out. But if I decide that for whatever reason, Spirit has made a situation... Um, where I will have to make some adjustments in order to align with a better outcome, well, then that's good practice for me. Because in this situation, I have to decide, because things are out of my control, that it's all going to turn out fine. And I still need to put the next right foot forward, do the next right thing, be the next right thing, and trust that it's all good. So... I'm getting ready to get in the shower and I will get myself all fixed up and pretty and I will go be beautiful. And I will trust that my beauty will attract more beauty, whatever that looks like. It doesn't mean that it'll go the way I desire. It means that it'll go the way it's supposed to and I will love it. I have a pretty hardcore autopilot in this way now. Um, it's about 12.30. I've already eaten twice today. Um, I have done a meditation. I have pulled cards and balanced. So I'm doing the things that I need to do whether I want to or not. Um, and I get pretty good at making myself do the next right thing when I get like this. Because these are not the times that I enjoy the most. It's not fun um, to be so uncertain, unless I decide it is, unless I decide it is. I could decide that this is my favorite ride, the one that ends up where I have no idea and that rides in the way that I don't know what's going to happen. I could decide it's way more fun than things turning out consistently the same every day. <clears throat> and it is the truth that things turn out well for me and they consistently do. 
So I think I'm just going to embrace that vibe. Um, I understand today when I don't feel like I want, if I'm mad at someone else or something else, that it's me. The disturbance is within me. And that's why anything in front of my face is a match to my balance or lack of. Um, I don't think the world is out of control. I don't think my son is out of control. My boyfriend's out of control or anything's out of control. I think that they're doing their human things and life is happening. And I will f literally be pulled to the vibe that I'm a match to. I will be beckoned and pulled to the situations that I vibe with. And so it's my choice um, how I magnetize. Literally. Um, full disclosure, he's already shared in here. Shout out to Robert because Robert and I have decided to go through this stuff in front of others. And that means when we like each other and when we don't like each other. And when we're getting along and we're not getting along. And I think that that is extremely brave on his part. And I applaud his transparency and authenticity. I've been living this way for a minute in front of y'all. You, you've seen me fucking pissed. You've seen me cry. You've seen me at the top of my world, whatever. I just don't give a shit anymore because I'm a human being. I came to do the do. I don't really give a flying flip if you see me fall on my fucking face because guess what? I'll get my little bitch ass up, wipe off my fucking knees, and walk on. I always do. And it used to really bother me that I was afraid I was going to fall or that you saw me fall or you saw my knees dirty. And now I'm just like, you're going to help me wipe them off or you're going to keep it moving. That's where I'm at. You're either part of the solution or you're part of the problem. But I really don't give a rat's ass what anybody has to say about my best efforts. What I do care about is if they're my best efforts or not. And so today, um, we started our day in a different way and I got my panties in a wad from the beginning of the day because it didn't start according to my expectations. <laughs> and then it's challenging for me right now in our current dynamic because I don't get very much, I get almost no time by myself and I still have to work. You know what I mean? Like I run a business, I'm a mom and a lot of these jobs are on top of each other inside of each other and simultaneous for me, which most of the time is fine. But every once in a while, I just wish I could go into an office and close the door and be like, mommy's working and you have to come back <laughs> next year. But that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> and you know, as I say that, I said to a woman yesterday, the time will come when I don't have little people around and I'll be wishing they were tugging on my clothes and wanting my attention. I walked out of the library yesterday and there was a woman changing her little one, you know, holding him up, little butt hanging out, trying to get the diaper around him while another one was trying to come out the car. And I laughed and I said, I know you hate this right now, but I miss that time. And she started laughing and she's like, I was thinking, oh gosh, my baby's butt's hanging out and everything's out of control. And I'm like, it's not though. You're doing it and you're doing great. And I thought, you know, we have all these phases in life and usually when we're in them, I'll speak for myself. When I'm in them, I before was not so much enjoying them because I'm too busy thinking it should be different or it's not going to work out or it's not good enough or whatever. I don't believe that way anymore. I, I do trust that things are as they should be. I do trust they're going to work out just fine. Um, the work for me now is not in trying to steal God's part, but in aligning myself um, for the highest outcome, um, for consciously choosing how I want to behave as opposed to reacting to everything around me. You know, like was said in here just, um, I think it was yesterday or the day before, everyone is the center of their own universe. Lex shared that... Um, Someone was on a street corner, the mother was on the street corner and, and said to the kid, you see that woman driving that car? She's the center of her own universe. And that is the truth for each of us. And I'll share one more thing in here. It all goes according to how I choose to see it, 
and to feel about it. I was in a meeting yesterday and I shared, I've often heard that <clears throat> police find eyewitness accounts very unreliable because each person gives their account according to their own understanding, experience, and analysis, right? And each of us is so different, so it's really hard to... This is my out-of-bed hair. You like it? You like my antenna? I love it. It's really hard to get a factual account from different people. I shared, one man walks up to another one and goes, boom, right in his chest. And the police officer or whoever says to three people who observed, what happened? And the one person says, man, that asshole came up and laid him out. He like struck him right in the chest. And the shorty acted like a bitch. He didn't do nothing back. He just stood there and took it, right? And the next person says, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what happened. One person just walked up and pushed another person and the other person just stood there. I have no idea. And the third person says, I witnessed an act of compassion. One very distressed human came up and physically put his hands on another human. And that other human responded with love and compassion and simply held space and didn't do anything to respond to that other human. It was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. Who's wrong? Nobody. Who's right? Everyone. Each person's account is according to their own vibration, their own personal experience, and what they are capable of allowing in that moment. The first person saw someone get pumped. The third person saw someone get loved on. Powerful, yes? So today I will choose to think that God's got all my circumstances under control and that God might be waiting for me to get in line with that notion and that belief so that I can show up and get the best stuff. It's like God's got a door prize, but you got to move your ass and put out your hands to grab it, you know? So thank you for being here today. Thank you for connecting and thank you for being honest and thank you for being transparent and thank you for bringing your real and letting all of us know you and connect to you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay, so here I be. I metamorphosized and became the bee and now I'm beautiful. So as you can see, I'm going to go be beautiful and trust that everything in front of me will be beautiful too. No matter what it looks like, I will decide I love it so much and it is beautiful. I hope you do the same. I hope you become beautiful inside and watch everything in front of your face get more pretty. Thanks for being here today. I truly love you so big.